welcome to the B. Lenore Show. Here, we will discuss lifestyle, beauty, celebrity gossip, and current events in our own way, my way, B. Style. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Everybody, how are you today? It is Thursday. Actually, today is my Friday. <laughs> I was supposed to teach a class. It was supposed to last all day today. And only one person signed up for the class, so I had to cancel. Damn. You know how sad I am about that? Look at me. Don't I look sad? Don't I? Anywho, how are Happy is Thursday. It's Thirsty Thursday. We're going to talk about some thirsty folks today. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Hi, Toya. So dope. Toya, so dope. How you doing? I have Field Vlogs Life. How are you? Always loving life. 804. I see you. It's Cat. Hi. Hi, that girl, Shelly. Hey, Vic to the Veil. Vic to the Veil. Okay. Hi, Just Peeking. Hi, Tina Jefferson. Hey, baby doll. Hi, I am Mrs. Ricks. How are you? I haven't seen you in a minute. Just Peeking, thank you. Good morning, Queen. Thank you so much. Good morning to you. Uh, hi, Michael Mill. Is it Millinus? Millinus. Hi, Michael. I'm just going to go with that. Hi, Michael. Hi, Upward Onward. Hi, Sinso. How you doing? Hi, Karen Taylor, Butterfly23, Shay Baby. Hi. Uh, oh, okay. Lorinda. Lorinda. Is it Lorinda Smith Stanford? Or La I think it's Laura Laura. Ooh. Laura Render. Is that right? Laura Renda. Tell me if I got it right. I'm sorry, Laura Renda. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, El Diva. How are you? Hi, let's be clear. Just like Kanye, I can see it when you walk. Even when you talk, it takes over me. Okay, anyway. I want to know, can you feel it too? Just like I do. Ooh. Okay, anyway. I got it right, Lorinda. Thank you. Uh, hi, Minx. How are you? That just skip right over you. Uh, Miss Trina, of course. Yes. Hello. Of course. <laughs> just like Candy. Okay. In harmony. Okay. Look, somebody in my comment section, or maybe it was in one of these chats, had the audacity, the audacity to say, it takes you 20 minutes to say, Roll call and homeroom. But then get the fuck out. Let me kick you out. Be a dropout. How about that? Be a homeroom dropout. Get the hell away. I'm going to speak to my people. I'm going to speak to them. Whether you like it or not, damn it. These people. Get your own damn platform. Get out here. Talk. Say what you want to say. Invite who you want to invite. Speak or don't speak to who you don't want to speak to. But you are not going to tell me that I can't speak to my people when I start my damn live. I'm not going for it. Please hit the like button. Please. Please, my people. Okay. Please hit the like button. Hi, Nunu Banks. How are you? I got a new new in my life, too. I like that. Hey, Nunu. Um, okay. Y'all, I got a couple things I want to talk about. Well, first, actually, I want to mention the live that I did last night. Last night, I had the pleasure 
of having two girlfriends on the panel with me last night, honey. Sure did. And I'm going to drop the link to that video because if you have not seen it, I suggest you do. The lovely, beautiful, uh oh, did I get the big one? Okay. The lovely and beautiful Cinder Williams. Many know her from Mo Better Blues and Caught Up and Introducing Dorothy Dandridge and The Wedding and TV shows and all that good stuff. Plus, she sings and stuff. Anyway. That's my girlfriend. That's my boo thing. Call her my big sister. She was here last night with me as well with the gorgeous and talented and funny as hell and smart AJ Saunders from a different world. And you've seen her in many shows too. She's been on the Jimmy Fox show, Fresh Prince, uh, you name it. You name it. So those are my girls. They came over last night over to the V Stylers house mansion whatever we got going on over here we ain't got no but understand we ain't got no walls over here we don't have any walls it is still a spec home so if you act up i don't want to burden that lady over there um uh, with the with the 504 wall i don't want to burden her okay she puts up with enough when she goes live she shouldn't have to deal with my people when I go live. So you all better be good or it's to the curb you go because we ain't got no walls over here, all right? I'm not going to send you to that lady's wall, okay? Nyla, I got your back, girl. I'm not going to send them over there because I know you probably trying to rest when you ain't live. The last thing you want to do is monitor the damn 504 wall, okay? So I'm not even going to burden you, sis. But y'all keep it up and you're going to go to the curb. Just know that. Okay. Hey, Dimple. Wait, girl. Uh -huh. Let's see who has snuck in here. Marge. Oh, imagine Magenta. But why act like that was such a hard thing? Magenta Spirit Life Coaching. Love it. Hi. Hi. Okay. So I just want to say go check out the live from last night. I'd really appreciate it. I have fun with the girls. We talked about several different topics. And then at the end, one of AJ's friends happened to be in the audience. And when I dropped the link, he came up and he was a comedian. His name is um, Joe Feezy. Yes, Joe Feezy. I had not met him before, but it was good. It was interesting talking to him. Um, he, he did say he'll come back to the show, which is cool beans for me. I always love it when comedians come on. I don't know. I, gotta, I, I love comedy. I just love it. Okay. And I feel like I've been studying comedians all my life. So anyway, he said he'll come back. So y'all check out that live. It was long. It was long. I ain't gonna lie. It'll help you get through your work day. Yes, it will. If you clean in your house or something, turn that shit on. Okay, listen. You might get a, a kiki. You might get a, 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 a aha moment. Um, You may hear some tea you didn't realize was out there. Mm -hmm. So I just say... Check it out. All right. Now, back to business. Today, this morning, we're going to first, I want to listen to this, this phone call that was released yesterday. And I understand that phone calls from prison says that um, this call was, I guess, on Patreon for a while. I guess I didn't realize it. I don't know if I, if I knew that that was out there. Nevertheless, I've only heard a portion of it. I want to listen to it with you guys. And then I want to talk about the live that took place last night over at Sylvia's house. Okay? Y'all good with that? Y'all good? Hey, she's an introvert. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, Vic to the van. What'd you say? After talking to Sonia and Sylvia, I realized more than ever that those three really are the scheme, the scheme team. Mm. talk about it because honey <laughs> when i peeked into that foolishness i mean oh girl sonia in particular was just wrong. this is how you end up on the phone with that young lady old lady whatever that's how you end up on the phone with her for two hours because she's going to talk 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 even when there was a point when sylvia asked her not to talk because she was reading something or looking at something. She said, please don't talk. The girl could not not talk. 
She had to talk about not talking. So that's how I ended up on the phone with her two hours, the first time I ever called. And I heard her talking in circles about how messy phone calls from prison is for releasing those calls. And she might talk to him 10 or 12 times in a day, but we're only hearing one call. So we ain't got the whole picture. Honey, we don't have to listen to every damn call to get a damn picture. If you yourself said there's nothing really in most of the calls and that a lot of the calls are boring, then why would you suggest that we need to listen to them all? No, no glad and grateful for phone calls from prison because her ass is doing all of the damn screening. She and her husband, because they are identifying things that we might need to know when we need to know them. Hello? Hello? So again, yeah, I'm listening because, you know, I'm still waiting for, you know, she talked shit about me in the call from the other day. Ain't no doubt about it. I caught that. We talked about it. But I want to hear what she was saying the day of the actual interview. Because after the interview, remember at the end, she did Sylvia the, the same way she did me yesterday. I think she tuned out. She didn't want to hear no more. So she starts getting on the phone. She don't say, excuse me. She doesn't step away. She doesn't turn the camera off. She just literally disrespects you and your platform and just turns away when she's done. It's real terrible. And then a phone call came through and poof, she was gone. She was frozen and then she was gone. Was that same shit happened over here? Sure did. I don't know if you missed it. If you missed it, honey, you missed it because it happened over here. All right. So um, anywho, we'll talk about it. We're going to talk about it. But let's listen to this call first because I'm guessing this is the call that kind of ticked Sylvia off. Now, let's be clear, too, before I even go any further. You know damn well, and Dennis and I talked about this morning. You know damn well those heifers had talked prior to yesterday's live. That phone call to her from Sylvia was no freaking surprise. They talked about it. They talked about what they were going to reveal and how they were going to reveal it. I think at some point, um, Sonya fucked up the script. And that that you know caused some some uh, rearranging of thoughts and 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 quotes. Some things change. Oh oh, that was me. Then you didn't say that. I just said that. Bullshit. Anyway, um, a girl. She did it last night. She did it with me too. You talking about the hanging up thing or the phone thing? Like it's so disrespectful. It's weird too like and the way she just turns away i don't know shell hi boo boo shell i'm sorry i forgot <laughs> shell i'm sorry i forgot to tell y'all i was going live shell i'm live thank you for coming thank you for being here would you mind dropping the link in the in the in the moderator's chat Please, thank you. Sorry. Shell is a lot more um, gentle, you know. I, she, she's, she's southern and sweet talks you. Uh, she sweet talks you to get you together. She'll get together, get you together just by sweet talking. You know, I'm familiar with that shit because, like I said, my dad is from Georgia, my mama is from Alabama. And so I've been around a lot of my family and they know how to get you together without cussing. They know how to get you together in a sweet talking kind of way. Well, that's how Shell is. She's gentle with me like that. I'm just glad it wasn't her daughter because she might have cussed me out. And I try to tell y'all that heifer carries a gun day and night, literally. All right. So if her, I try to tell y'all this, don't, don't fuck with her daughter. I'm just telling you. Don't do it. She is not the one to play with. Okay. Mm -mm. My other mods are very nice and 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 um, patient. Okay. Uh, her daughter has no patience. Don't mess with her. Okay. That's all I got to say. All right. Back to this heifer. Let's listen to this live that or this phone call that pissed off Sylvia. And why? All right. Oh, what you say, wigs and wine? Hey, we'll talk with brother. What you say? V, you're a master at not cursing a person out but getting them together. Emma, because I know you know I can cuss though. 
you know, and shoot, Shell, Shell, Shell knows I um be cussing. Shell has to get me together sometimes because I just cuss for no good reason. People might think I'm cussing them out. I just be cussing, child. So Shell had to get me together one time, like all oh, this damn cussing, cut it out, damn it. So you know, I try to be more mindful. I try to be more mindful, wigs and wine. But yeah, yeah, I can't. You, I can hurt your whole feelings, but I don't. I don't go where I can go, y'all. I really don't do it. Hi, Monique's world. What? I'm cracking you up now. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Waller. What happened to Ms. Waller? This Mrs. Waller in here now? Oh, that's Miss Mrs. Walker. My bad. I know you look, I did not mean to insult you, Mrs. Walker. Sis. I saw I I'm blind, child. I thought it said Waller, honey. Since we talking about this help, you know, it's in my, my back of my mind. So, okay, let's go. Hey, Bella. Hey, Chick-fil-A gal. Let's get it popping. Okay. I'm about, to, I'm about to start this. All right. So listen. This video contains one call between Nesto and Sonia on January 27th, 2024. The full uncut call has been available on Patreon for about a week now. So if you're a member there, you might have already heard this. In this call, you will hear Sonia tell Nesto about a YouTuber's live stream that she watched. Take a listen. With President Biden's national campaign manager. Hello. Uh, checking up on you, uh, national mm -hmm. campaign manager. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, what? Let me hear that. This video oh, contains right. one. Go that far. Wait, what? With President Biden's national campaign manager. Hello. Uh, checking up on you, uh, national mm -hmm. campaign manager. <laughs> oh, my God, my stomach. Oh, I feel like I just. Hey. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh my God, I was, I was, it was so good. I, I, I was just like, damn, there it go, right there, there it go. Break it down, break it, break it down. You was eating that good. No, I'm sorry. Did you get my text just now? No, I, I, I gotta go look. Ah, oh, I thought you got my text. But the blogger. Let me, let me say this. So that was January 27th. Um, did you hear how she, I know this is, this is silly. This is not even a, a, a thing, right? This is not, I mean, this isn't even that important, but this is the shit I'll be thinking about and I pick up on it. Did you hear just now when she realized that he did not receive her text, but he called her? There was a, a, a bit of glee, a little bit of excitement. The fact that he called her when she had texted him and she thought he was calling her because she had texted him, but he hadn't seen the text. He just called her without her knowing uh, it, it, that, that let's listen to the glee. Let's listen to the glee. It's just a second or two. Okay. You was eating that good. No, I'm sorry. Did you get my text just now? No. no. I, I, Here come glee. Oh, I thought she got my text. Oh. But the blogger <laughs> went on. A blogger went on last night for three hours, and then she was breaking down your 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 case, your CPK, all of that stuff was breaking it down and was just shining light to all of that, all the issues, everything that's wrong with it, and then people was like, "Damn." Okay, so let me say something about that. So when I spoke to Sonya that day. It was, uh, or the day before when I told you, I initially called her for the interview. We ended up talking two hours and I said, can we do this tomorrow? So that first day when we talked for two hours, she told me, and I had forgotten this the other day. I remembered it later on, but she initially told me about this live and she said the blogger, meaning, um, uh, actually she didn't even call her the blogger. She said, Sylvia. Um, and I said, oh yeah, infamous Sylvia. She said, yeah, she was like, she did a lot. She said, did you see her live Friday? I was like, no, I didn't. And so she said, <laughs> she was like, well, 
you should see it because she broke it down. She is looking at the case differently. She sees the inconsistency and she, and she does this for a living and this, that, and the other. And she was like, you need to watch that live, which I did not. I did not watch it. I did feel like it. Um, I can't stay over there for no damn three hours. Three hours? I can't even stay over it. I was barely over there for the full hour at the same time last night that old girl was on there. I know she was on there longer than that, but uh, it was a little annoying. Nevertheless, she told me about um, that live that she's referencing here because uh, we, again, we interviewed on the 30th or the 31st of the month, 31st, I think it was. And she also told me, and this is what I forgot to the last time. She did tell me that Sylvia, when we talked, she said a blogger is going to visit him on Friday or something like that. Because I think we interviewed on a Wednesday or Thursday. And she said, um, yeah, this blogger is going to visit him on Friday. And I said, what blogger? And she didn't want to say. But we had already been talking about Sylvia. So I thought it was where I said, Sylvia? She was like, mm. Like, the way she said it was like as if she was saying, no, it ain't Sylvia. I said, well, who could it be? Because I couldn't imagine anybody else who would want to go visit him or that lived in Atlanta that would go visit him. I mean, I... I I was pretty certain Bougie wasn't going to go visit him. If she wanted to, she would have done that by now. Um, Nyla's not there. And I don't think Pam lives there. Like, I was like, who is this blog? Chronicle Speaks? Is she going there? Like, I didn't understand who was going to visit, ma'am. She act like it was a big secret. And then sure enough, the following week, when no girl got the tape, she played it. When uh, Sylvia got the tape, she played it. So everything she's referencing now, I am familiar with. So. Mm, interesting. Let's listen. The innocent. Tommy was right. He didn't do that. She broke down all of that stuff. I text your um, investigator guy and told him he needed to watch the video because mm. it's exposing girl, you know, who made the, the, the allegations, lies. It got, she talked about her background. She talked about her case that with that girl she talked about that girl that beat her up with the car or whatever they used to live together in tennessee you lying yeah she brought all that up she been what look she's been investigating 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 yeah she said yeah that she lived with that girl in tennessee i don't know how she found that out Okay, real quick, I need everyone, please hit the like button. Just do me that little one, one favor. Just hit that like, hit that like. Okay, I'm going to back this up just a little bit because I want to understand exactly what she's saying that, what all she's saying that Sylvia found out. And why would Sylvia do all that digging about the girl and then turn around and tell oh girl about it? Like, it was bad enough she gave the picture. Sure, we know that's the worst thing you could do. Given the picture, maybe the whereabouts, what her lifestyle is. But why is she sending? Why? Why is she informing the accused advocate? Why? Why his girlfriend, whatever the hell she is? Okay, who, by the way, is speaking with him again? Like we didn't know that. But okay, let's let's just go back a hair. I want to understand what all did Sylvia uncover girl you know who made the, the, the allegations lies it got, she talked about her background she talked about her case that with that girl she talked about that girl that beat her up with the car or whatever they used to live together in tennessee <laughs> you're lying yeah she brought all that up she been what look, she been investigating, investigating, investigating. Yeah. She said, yeah, that she lived with that girl in Tennessee. I don't know how she found that out. <clears throat> yep. Look, and, I, I'm bored with it right now. I still ain't listening to everything she just said. But anyway, <laughs> I know she said she found out about I guess somebody who beat Erica up. It was it Erica we're talking about that got beat up by somebody and, and they used to live together is that what she's saying or is she talking about the uh the victim can y'all tell me but what i was gonna say is um honey annette last night 
She pretty much hi Dr. Alicia. She pre- hi Life Unleashed. She pretty much admitted to lying. I mean, she not even pretty much. She said, "I don't owe nobody the truth. If I lie, what difference does it make?" Who says that? She is fifty five years old. She is not fucking fifteen. But she sounded very 15-ish last night. She sounded like a teenager that tries to be grown. You you know that person? The one who get, you know, the teenager, they they smelling themselves. They're wearing makeup now. I'm talking about the girls. They're wearing makeup now. Uh, uh, um, I don't know. I'm thinking about myself now. Maybe you were allowed to get your hair cut then. <laughs> You smelling yourself. You got you got a little boyfriend. You driving now. And now you're gonna talk shit to the grown-ups about how they need to be doing. That's what she sounded like to me last night. She sounded to me like a whole child, to be quite honest. A mess. So they talking about the victim. Who said that? So twin number one, thank you. Okay, make it rain. And twin number one both say, okay, so they're talking about the victim. So why is Sylvia going so deep? Why is she working? Why is she digging into the victim's lives like that? Why? Uh, I, I'm sure that the prosecution team really doesn't need your help. Yeah, I know they out here watching our stuff. And I'm sure some of the coverage we're giving does help them to probe deeper in certain things or the fact that we pick up on stuff that they are not quite familiar with. Uh, so they're listening for that purpose. But trust and believe, they don't really need us. And they damn sure don't need Sylvia digging in the victim's life. I don't even understand what you hope to accomplish by doing that. I don't even understand it. Not pow pow whipped. Are you serious? So she, by the girl that lived where? Jesus. That girl done been through some things, hasn't she? Lord have mercy. And, and that's the thing. People are saying, well, why did they come back? And why did they continue to do this? And why did they deal with them? And why didn't they tell anybody? That's how abuse works. And predators know who they can try that shit with. She was already broken. He detected the brokenness and he zeroed in on it. Same with Sonya. Same with Shirley. Same with all these women he fucked with because there's no way. I just don't believe that a whole person would have fallen for his illiterate bullshit. He's illiterate. Why are y'all listening to him? What I mean, why y'all care? Why y'all want to impress this nigga? Now, the only thing I can think of is he is working this magic, this 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 sex magic, black magic. I don't know what kind of magic he's working with. Dark magic. I don't know what hell he, he's working with. But he must be putting a spell on these women because most of them, well, I mean, I, I guess the two or three that I know of, they're pretty articulate. Let's be clear. Even though Sonya's, Sonya's vocabulary is a little limited and she's ignorant about a lot of things, she still speaks articulately for the most part. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? That's how that's how Wendy Williams. You, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand? I'm just asking. All right. Uh, it's the liquid V. It gotta be something. Everybody taking us. He must make sure everybody takes a swig and he got a spell cast on that damn liquid V. That shit is not your normal liquid V. That shit is magic induced liquid V. I'm telling you. There's something to it. Please hit the like button. Let's listen. In New York right now with some old man, old, old, old white man living. She broke down the aunt. She broke down the mama. She broke down the daddy. She broke down the fact that that case they tried to put on you on February 1st was the same day you was in court with Erica. So how could that be? The dates and stuff ain't adding up. Break it, break it down, break it, break it down. It was like, damn, you think now it's looking like she didn't do none of that stuff? Then surely it go back to him. That's what the comments saying. The one, and she was like, I'm not commenting on that. She said, because I don't know. I can't speak on their relationship, but I'm just, I'm just here to, you know, report everything that I investigate. And it's, all these warrants is looking very questionable. 
and the fact that the other one, the other guy, how they said that he walked in saying his name was Ernest Williamson, like he didn't know him, and the guy used to work with him at the barbershop, but they trying to make this warrant sound like it was a stranger off the street that just walked in and, and tried to hustle him and this, that, and the other. He just broke it all down and then some. And then the CP thing with the, um how the how it was, you know, stated in the warrant, why didn't they put the real actual dates down? And the fact that um when they do the warrant, they, they like how all your other warrants were so specific and this and the other. Why would they generalize something that they have the dates and the possession? Why does this girl sound like she is laying face down in the bed with a pillow over her head while she is trying to tell us what the hell is going on? It sounds like she hasn't had any orange juice, grapefruit juice. Cranberry juice, water, nothing. It sounds like she's had nothing other than something that has her sounding like that. And she sounds like she's face down in the damn bed. Like, I wonder what time this damn call is. But every call sounds like that. She laying down. She ain't leaving the house for a week. She, I mean, my God today. That's this. It was while you're in jail. That didn't make sense. They were supposed to put the true date. That the that that the, that it came on your computer, which stating that it had to be over the, the time that he possessed it because he did buy it secondhand. He only had it two years before he went to jail. And I was saying, and I don't know if she said this because I didn't watch the whole thing. I just came in on the last hour and a half of it because she was on until like one thirty in the morning. Who's looking at uh, shit that long? Listen, they are. She had three thousand views by this morning. Okay. I'm playing. I'm playing. And then the judge Manning watches her sh watches her channel. What? Yeah, Judge Manning. He interviewed. Well, she had an interview with Judge Manning, but Judge Manning watches her show. Yeah. Damn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Okay, how do you really know? I mean, she might, but the truth is, a lot of these channels are being watched. I used to hear, I remember when I, I you know, I was doing um, content for the beef sector, a little bit here and there. I, re I really wasn't a beefer per se. I got in a couple beefs. That wasn't a beefer per se, right? Um, and shit, I forgot what, what I was about to say, y'all, about beefing. What is something she just said? Hold on, let me. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, oh. I know. So she's talking about how the judge is over there. GC, thank you, GC. Okay, I'm gonna read in one second. Um, she's talking about how the judge is watching. And so when I was in the beef sector doing content over there, I remember some people are saying the feds are watching. They're gonna be watching because just the due to some other content creators or whatever or the belief was the feds were watching i was always like yay please watch please watch us because if somebody is doing something funky i want you to deal with it that's less shit i gotta deal with yes i welcome the fbi the cia the swat team the local police the highway patrol the state police the marshals. I want every, every motherfucking body. Secret Service and Homeland Security. I want everybody to watch these damn videos that people are putting out here on YouTube. And so when they go to threatening and when they go to just disrespecting people outright and breaking the law, they get handled. But anywho, so what the judge is watching Sylvia's channel. She ain't watching it every night, I'm sure, because, honey, nobody can do that. And then she is watching other things and her staff is. So, so, yeah, it is what it is. But, honey, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Sylvia's not that popular. I'm just saying. I'm not that popular either. But I'm just saying I would never sit here and pretend like I got something going on if I didn't have something going on. Okay? I, I am what I am. I'm here. Remember, I'm a junior blogger. I'm a junior. Junior. Sylvia might be eh, I don't know. She she I don't know. She going to summer school. Here we go. Erica, because they came in with that whole point oh. of finger. Da, 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 da. He had he had no. Just because he had a cue. 
Let me read this damn thing. I'm so sorry. GC, hi, honey. Thank you again. You're always blessing somebody. Why does she always know what happened, but don't believe or have an open mind to consider the other side? It's crazy as hell to me because she constantly says, y'all are only one-sided. Y'all story is one-sided. You're listening to that it's one-sided. No, ho, yours. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me drink my water. I called this lady out her name. Sonia, I'm sorry. I called you a hoe. I didn't mean to. I didn't really mean it like that. I mean, I hope you don't get offended, but I wouldn't think you would. You wouldn't be offended by that, right? I mean, you're a side chick. So. Is that a hoe? Are side chicks hoes? Put a one in the chat if a side chick is a hoe. Or a two in the chat. If a side chick is not a hoe, please, we'll wait. One for hoe, two for no hoe. Oh, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, wait, wait, she, what'd she say? Oh, look at all these ones. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, dimples went by. <laughs> dimples went Shut up, okay? Shut the hell up. Wait a minute. What what you say? Something to say said three. It depends on the situation. Okay, well, help me with the situation. Now, let me say this. Let me say this. I do not think Fonnie Willis is a side chick. Different circumstances. So if, if you're talking about something like that, something's to say, is that what you mean? Because I do not consider Fonnie a side chick. I do not. Therefore, I do not consider her to be a hoe. But I do personally kind of believe that if you are a side chick, that's some hoeish activity. Okay? Now, you may not be a hoe, but you acting like a hoe. Is that possible? Is that possible? Could it be that? Maybe that's what it is. You think? Hi, Kimberly Black. Welcome. Welcome. All right. I Keep seeing these damn ones. I guess she's a hoe. She's a hoe. You know she's a hoe. Anyway. Hi, you, Rob. Okay, let's get back into it. Listen to this sleepy-ass girl. I mean, it's that shit. I got to watch the first hand. I have to see everything. You know, she talked about the, um, the one. Hmm? I mean, what made them just come out to just start talking GC, about it? GC, thank you. Confused on everything. Everybody can go in different angles of the story. So every and this is what she does, is she's a commentator for court. Commentator. So she mainly blocked about YSL. Just that was the one that was sitting in the courtroom with you. What? Remember you said that blogger was in, it was somebody filming in the courtroom with you? Yeah. That's yeah. who it was. I, I, I didn't know who they were though. I, I didn't know who Yeah, they were. that's who that was. The one that that, that TV and that's the only bargain that be in the courtroom doing and digging up and doing real investigative type of, you know, it's what's that. going on situation. Mm -hmm. oh, I just mm -hmm. that um PCFP, I accidentally hid your comment and I can't unhide it. I'm so sorry. But I, you said there's some hole in this house. There's a hole. I'm sorry. I couldn't. I don't know. I was trying to. Um, so let me say this to you guys. If you put cer certain words have been blocked in the chat. OK, so sometimes if you write out something, write out a, a, a comment and you don't see it come up, it's because some word in there that you used is in my block words. OK, so. Um, so I think because you had holes spelled the way you did, it had it where it needed to be reviewed. And when I went to try to review it, I pushed the wrong button, child. I'm sorry, because I think the shit was fun. Now, what I will say is if you guys use curse words or um, say, you know, just little words like that, ho, spell it differently. Like I tend to spell ho, H-E-A-U-X. 
So if you spell hoe like that, you know, we can get away with it. Shit, you can spell S-H-Y-T or, you know, put a symbol or something in there. Just misspell it or something so that it doesn't get caught up. Okay. All right. Back to the shit. Okay. Let me go back. Okay. Um, which is. Yeah. That's yeah, I, 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 I didn't know who they were, though. I, I didn't know. Yeah, that's what that was. The one that, that, that TV in, that's the only barber that be in the courtroom doing and digging up and doing real investigative type of, you know, what's going on situation. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so she wasn't shining the light on all of that. All of that. She did some good investigation with the I was like, wow, I didn't know that. I know that for damn self. Right. I was like, I know that. Yeah, she went in. She found, she was digging. She's finding some stuff out. Wow. Yeah. Yep. All I know is, I just got to stay prayed up, man. That's it. Please uh, hit the like on, button, on, please. Like button. Like um, button. Did you see the yep. lady? lady uh, uh, Trump got to pay the lady $83 million for just talking talking about her? You see yeah. That? I think it's just trying to screw him, but he can get that from donations. That ain't no thing. They're going to give him that money. Uh, I got it. He, he, he can call Putin and get that. He <laughs> 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 got too many people wanting that office. What you need? I right, bet. $83 million, no problem. Here you go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I saw that. Yeah, mm. but just just talking about it, he got she got to pay eighty three million just just talking about him. Just talking. He said, "If that man, uh oh, let me go up. If that man still married, living at the same address as the wife, definitely, I agree. If they share the same home and they live together, uh, um, yeah." Yeah, I got a problem with that. But Fonny's man was not living at home with his wife. His wife had left the state, child. From what I understand. Now, unless she came back and they started living together again, from what I understand, they had been separated for a couple of years before he even got with Fonny. He had dated somebody else in the office. So I say all that to say, I don't see her as a side chick. But this one, side chick. She a side chick, and 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 he might not even be legally married, but he, she's still a side chick to me. Shit, okay, <laughs> okay, back to it. Oh, okay. They're talking about him. Yeah. So let's see what you get. Keep talking, girls. Keep talking, girls. I got an interview at three o'clock. I'm sitting here, but it's a it's a over the phone. It's not a, a video. Which is good Who was that with you? Mm -hmm. Y'all, that one she that must be the one she did with Judge. Um, what's that girl's name? What's that girl's name? I was gonna say Judge Sonya, but it's not that. What's that girl's name, y'all? Uh, Judge somebody. She had interviewed someone else I know, uh, a minute a while back, but I don't know. Plus, divorce right. Plus, they had started the divorce proceedings. <laughs> Wait, where you go? Where you go, girl? Y'all going too fast for me. I was talking about you at the beginning. Yes, I was talking about you, how high-headed you are and how I, I'm afraid of you and that they should also be afraid. That's all I said. Okay, let's listen. The final interview. Uh, okay, give me a new job, huh? No, it's an interview about you. What are you What's talking about? What's your about me? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got another question. Um, okay. Is I still got? Do I still have um, my Instagram of my security company? It should be still on there. Mm hmm Last I checked, it was on there. Did you see that? I saw it. Yeah, I got it up so I can see it. what was on it. Cause mm -hmm, I, had just, mm -hmm. I just started it up. Thank you. Her daughter just gifted five people. I saw her do it. She just did it. 
I saw her. She did it. Wigs and wine. You you got a membership, girl. I'm unique. Sweetie pie. You got a dog on membership. Okay. Me. Oh, no. Is it me or MB? Child can't see. MB. You got me. Oh, Lord. This is say I need to go this way. Why am I trying to struggle and read it on the phone? It's right here. Oh, my Lord. Um, Who else had got? One though, uh, we said MB. I don't even see that person up here. Anyway, I think it's plant agent and twin number one. You all got gifting, hallelujah! Thank my daughter in the chat, please. Oh, she's so sweet. Thank you, her daughter. She went through that case about the um about the car. Uh, the car, the company that, that that the check was written out to just dissolved, and how the car wasn't in your name, the check, the, the, the check wasn't in your name. I'm trying to figure out well, how they charge you if the car and the and the um check, you know, wasn't something that you had anything to do with it. You just showed up and picked up the car, but she said they dropped that, they dropped that charge. Oh, they dropped it, but she said they dropped it. Was, I guess, uh, uh, GC, oh my gosh. GC, you were so generous last night. I think you gifted, didn't you gift 10 people last night and sent a couple of super chats and, and blessed the guests and everything. Thank you so much, GC. Lord have mercy. GC done gifted five more people, dog on it. All right, let me see. Let me, let me go over here, child. I got to look at it a different way. Because these eyes ain't eyeing. Okay. Come on. Come on, live chat. My God, today. So let's see. Um, GC has gifted, uh, is it Black, Black Sink Moan? Is that? Okay. But you know who I'm talking about. Black. Thank you. Um, Zaynab Hill, you've been gifted. Thank you. Just Nikki. Hello. Welcome. Beautifully T. Yes. Yes. Good vibes only. Love it. You should have been in here with that name. Good vibes only, honey. Have all been gifted. Up. Yeah. I'm excited. And I'm enjoying my our membership lives. You know, we've had three. I, I plan to do like once a week, but We've done three in the within the last week, okay? And I've enjoyed my time with, with our members. So um, anyway, let's get back into the bullshiggity. I charge you all willy-nilly without investigating everything, but she broke that down. And I was like, well, hell. I don't know if you talked about the fact that you was in Kentucky when that other, with this other situation, which was out of jurisdiction. She have never been charged in Low Fulton County if they felt some type of way about it. It should have been a Kentucky charge. And I don't know if she talked. I got to look at the whole video to see if she talked about the fact that when the girl went to Fulton County and talked about the car, how come she didn't talk about everything else if she felt everything else was a problem? And how come Fulton County, I mean, not Fulton County, but how come Roswell didn't notify the other law enforcement on the cases that were out of their jurisdiction. Why did they feel the need to just, invest, you know, take on everything when they didn't even investigate anything? It wasn't even, didn't even happen there. But she, um, she did a lot. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what she done, but she did, she did three hours. Three hours? That's a football game. Yeah, that's well, a hurt, football huh? game on breaking your case down and everything that looked questionable. Everything that looks wrong. I don't understand. Well, well, when they put the video out there and said I was a, a, a villain with no bond, uh, this, this is amazing how the folks turn around to me. So they didn't think of anything. They just ran with the narrative like they always do. A lot of people don't think about nothing. They just run with the narrative. Oh, but the cool. irony oh, is a... she creates narratives every day. She claims she doesn't even know what the hell happened because she can't talk to him, but she always has an explanation for what happened and how it happened when she says she hasn't talked to him. But then 
she said something last night when I was listening to her over there with Sylvia, and she pretty much sort of said that he had explained one scenario. And I'm thinking to myself, how? How did he tell you about this? It must be in a letter or something. But I, I was confused. Like, she contradicts herself all the damn time. That has happened. Because they don't care enough to put any thought into it. They just go around with it. Just like anything that's said about anybody. They say this, that, and other about P. Diddy. They just run with the narrative. No one's going to sit there and break it down and, and try to, you know, investigate or this, that, and other. They just run with it. It was there, so it must be true. And they just run with it and they put their little negative comments with it. Not not thinking and not caring because people don't care past their lives. I'm going to wait on deep. I know they got that, uh, that, what they call that shit? They make your voice sound on the phone and all that other shit. They did with Taylor Swift yesterday. Put them pictures on oh. the they got intelligence, whatever you call that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Let me tell you. And another thing, too, which I think I just thought of yesterday. Remember I was telling you about the, the, the download? How they said it was 34 images, but only four you can kind of see. The other ones you can barely see. As a person, you only had a computer for two years. We know for a certainty what videos and imagery over the years, now they're very clear and very precise. If a person is downloading pornography of any kind, they're not downloading horrible, great pornography. No one's downloading trash pornography where you can barely see what it is. This explanation is dumb as hell. I'm sorry, it looks like internet. I might have to change uh, my internet connection. But uh, this explanation she gives about, you know, well, I guess she's saying that the picture, somebody either uh, uh, must have set him up because no one in their right mind would download a, a, a grainy picture of corn, a grainy corn picture. Shall I? So that the freak okay. wants to see whatever the freak can see. And if it's something freaky, grainy, they're going to want to see it. They're going to download it. Because why? Because they freaky. Okay. Alone, too, also proves that those imagery is old as that computer. Because you, in the last two years, you can't find nothing like that online. No, you know what I'm saying? No garbage imagery of pornography that somebody's going to sit there and download when you can't even see it because the whole gist of pornography is to actually see it very clearly so you can get off on it. Girl! So why would somebody download How's it? How, is that how you choose your porn? Corn? Is that how you choose your pictures? She sounds stupid to me. This is why y'all call her silly, huh? That's why y'all was calling her silly, Sonia? some trash imagery. You get me? So by yeah. those images being so old and trash, you know that that stuff is about 15 so years old. I mean, Blockbusters was up so, and running. Probably something off of a VH. Let me tell you, there are people right now that are still holding on to and watch and passing around that R. Kelly damn video. That's grainy as hell because that shit was done on a VHS tape. Okay, We're, I mean, it is what it is. He taped that shit on VHS and he may have uh, then transferred to a disc or whatever, whatever he did. But at the end of the day, people are still passing that shit around. You know what else they passing around? Because uh, the quality isn't great. I mean, it's OK. It's obviously uh, real amateurish. Uh, but uh, that Ray J and Kim Kardashian. Yeah, it's, you know. Uh, I, you know, another one that's grainy is, uh, have y'all heard about the Jane Kennedy and Leon Isaac Kennedy one? Yeah, that shit is old as me, okay? I am 54 years old. That had to have been done 46 years ago at, at, at a minimum. And um, that shit is grainy as hell, but you can best believe people are passing that shit around. 
okay? So I don't want to hear this bullshit about something being grainy uh, a freak would not want to see. I don't believe it. Anyway, don't ask me how I know about all those videos. Don't ask me shit. And don't judge me either, damn it. Um, yes, sir. Show, show you hate about some goddamn blockbuster. What you know about a blockbuster? Right. Blockbuster. <laughs> I should have like I should probably look like a blockbuster. If in fact if in fact it's a child, like I say, so for him to sit there and say, you know, no, nobody in pornography after the seventies had hair. But everybody shaved in porn in, in porn movies. I was, hey, that we ain't even listening to her. What what y'all saying in the damn chat about this these corn videos? <laughs> wait. Uh, wait a minute. What you say? Um, some things to say. Hold on. Damn, what's this thing moves? I guess that was my okay. I saw Ray J and Kim K though. Yeah, it was amateurish. It probably wasn't grainy, but it was amateurish, right? But people passed it around. It's old. That thing is 15, ain't it about 15, 20 years old? So that thing is old. And then um, what y'all say over here? All I see is pipe one. Which one? internationally known which one to my ray j's that one that one anyway i don't I, I heard about it but that one um that one was something else wasn't it i tell you the one that's really something else is that damn jane kennedy did it is that what do you think that's what it was? I thought she just got saved. Danielle, you think that is that what happened? Because I was so young and I didn't pay. I mean, you know, I was young. I didn't see that video when it came out, obviously. Um, but is that what I, I want to, you know what's funny? I want to interview her. I was thinking about it the other day. I'm really gonna try and see. I don't know why. I've thought about it for the last year, but it came heavy on my mind the other day. I wanna, I think I want to interview her. Uh, real quick, what you say, uh, Lisa girl, that R. Kelly tape is disgusting. I saw it years ago. I was done with Kelly after that. Me too. That was a very young girl. Absolutely. I don't care what people say. I saw it with my own eyes. I saw it with my own eyes. That was Robert Sylvester Kelly in that mother sucking picture. And that was a little girl, flat chested little girl in that shower that he had doing all that stuff. I saw it too. It was bad. And I don't know how anybody would stand up for him because I don't care if he was unjust. It, let's just say, for argument's sake, for argument's sake, let's say he was railroaded right now. Let's say that they were treating him unfairly. I want you to ask me if I give a damn. Okay, I'll wait for you to ask me. Ask me. So anybody, do I give a damn? Never mind, don't ask me. No, I don't give a fuck, okay? If he goes to jail and stays there for the rest of his life, I don't give a damn. You know why? Because I know what he did do. I know how he lied and he evaded having her come and, and testify or had her evade testifying last time, paid her family off. I know that's why he really got out of it because other people identified her, but because the parents said it wasn't her, and she was not there to corroborate anything. That's why he got off. But I will never, and I mean ever, feel sorry for damn Robert Kelly. I will not ever. He, he is where he's supposed to be. I don't give a damn about anything that seems unfair towards him right now. I don't give a F. I don't. Okay? And now, as much as I stood up for OJ, you know, I have doubts about him now. I don't know if he did it or not, but I got some doubts about that shit. I still feel like it's hard. It would be hard for him to have pulled that whole thing off by himself. So I think that either he knows who did it or he, if he did it, I don't know. Well, let's say he did it. Let's say he did it. Then the fact that he had to go to jail later for some bullshit, because that was bullshit. Like we're not going to front and say he didn't go to jail for some bullshit. He went to jail for taking back shit that was stolen from him. Now you, and went to jail for it. But do you want me to feel sorry for him? No. If he in fact did what we, that y'all say he did, because I don't know he did. If he did what y'all said he did, why would you feel sorry about this over here?
care. I don't give a shit. So that's why I say if Ernesto hurt one person, one, one, that's too many. I don't give a shit what happens to him. Period. I said it. And I'll say it again. Now let's listen, damn it. So why he said take that out of his mouth? You should have came with something else to say it was a trial. Just to say that it, you know, in fact, the pediatrician looked at it, the body, the this, whatever, whatever, made it a trial. But to say lack of hair, everybody in the business is forced to shave. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you sound dumb. It just sounds like they just, it's a, you can just tell that that whole situation, which you already know, you ain't know or had a part of it, but you can just tell by how they put it out there that it's some bullshit. That's what was either dormant. It was either dormant on there or, or they just fucking lying, period. First of all, wanted- LaShawn, don't ever call Sonya Cube Steak. I love fucking Cube Steak. Are you kidding me? I love some damn Cube Steak. Brown it on top of the stove. You know, put some flour and seasoning stuff and brown it on top of the stove. And then make your gravy. And then I put it in the oven, honey, and let that stuff soak. Ooh, ooh, and get even more tender after I put it in the oven about 30, 40 minutes. Mix some some rice, have that with gravy and some broccoli. Honey, don't you ever call Sonya no damn cube steak. Well, you didn't. You said she's not cube steak. You're right. She ain't cube steak. You said she chopped cheese. Okay, we'll take it. All right. That's it. It was right. And, and you, you know. Anyway. <laughs> Why am I saying it? Okay, it's it's right now. What's going on? Yeah. Okay. First of all, some things to say said goulash. <laughs> Not goulash. Uh-uh. No. Oops, wait a minute. Not goulash or corned beef hash. Now, corned beef hash is pretty good, too. Why are you fooling? Goulash I'm a little scared of. And yes, I am starving. Actually, I am. Do I sound like it? I really am damn near hangry. But let's listen. That's your first arrest. That was bondable. Your second charge was bondable. Every charge you had before January was bondable. So why did they not give you a bond? You know, all of those little... They kept me in here for a whole... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No oh, yeah. no and they dragged the, the charges because, listen, they got that information back before, before, way before they charged you, just like that whole charge. And they talked to that girl the whole year prior, did no type of investigation work. So why did you wait a whole year? Wigs and wine. Thank you. Wigs and wine. Wicks and wine just gifted people, y'all. Five memberships. Okay, hold on. Let me look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Okay, so who got it this time? The real nurse Jackie, April Budget. Um, 16, 16. No, April Budget is already. I'm sorry, April. Okay, the real nurse Jackie, succeeding to um, Miss Cutie. Uh, James McRae, Brooklyn. I like that, Brooklyn. That's cute. Thank you. Thank you, Weeks and Wines. Please thank you, Wine, if you were just gifted. Now we just growing, growing, growing. So, you know, everybody, you know, there are people who call their folks, you know, you know, welcome to the family, welcome to the tribe, you know, welcome to the squad. I just think we are clubs. This is a club. This is a, a membership only club. You know, you know, it just like they say, like American Express, membership has its privileges, baby. So this is a club. Welcome to the club. Okay. Welcome to the club. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Congratulations, everybody. Okay. Okay. Let's get back to this bullshit. Okay. We only got like nine minutes. Here to bring the charges up. You could have charged them right then and there. Could have charged them two days. Could have charged them two days after the interview is what you could have done because you knew it was no 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 
for the investigation you could do. She said that if this is what you were saying is true. It said she didn't tell nobody. She didn't take pictures. She didn't do a kit. So that's the end of the investigation. Where was the charge? Why did you wait a whole year? So they said they, 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 they did that to your cases. They were trying to buy bullshit at time. So they did that. They charged with wrong, with wrong, and then let's drop this charge with hope and drop this one. All that stuff, and you could have had all your charges in by November of 22. Everything they they trying to say could have been out there by November. Why did they do it the way they did it? Okay, so you got to question everything. 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 This girl talks so much. Why did they do that? And like wow. the first lawyer said, it is something that ain't right with the case, and it's something and they plan you. For the police and the prosecutor, he said he said it was he something he wrong. He, he, he said there's something that. wrong with it. this case. Not on end, but on near end. He said it. He said it. He so said all the while they was out there digging up stuff and Nick gave a bond, trying to find something. That's why it's important that everything. Okay, let's be clear about something. Nobody is going out of their way. To look for all of these different wide ranges of crimes just to pin on this dude. This dude, why don't you understand he is guilty of something? You know he is. Stop with the bullshit. And now that we know that you have gone over there into his freaking IG account, you couldn't give a straight answer about that. You're a liar. You went, you got the password somehow, and you went in, and they say that you you deleted all of Shirley's videos. They say that, I'm not videos, pictures. Any pictures that he had with Shirley on it, you removed them from the page, Sonia. What is wrong with you? You are so controlling. You talk too much, and they're not going to sit here and pretend like you don't know he's guilty of something. You got to. And if you have his access to his IG, and maybe he gave you access to that one account, simply because maybe he didn't do anything crazy on that account. Maybe he didn't have any crazy DMs, but he has multiple IG accounts. And you can best believe he was doing some soliciting on IG. Hell, these, these stars do it. They go out here looking for these IG models and connect with them like that. Why wouldn't Ernesto? He's over here recruiting girls. Come on now. I believe Sonya got some... I they know each other better than they say. I, I don't care what nobody says. I, I feel like they know each other more than in five visits. I know she said 20. I know she could say she's included some of these video vis visits, but I don't believe that. I believe this girl knows more, has been a part of more, or at least turned a blind eye to some shit that she knew was happening, but maybe didn't know the details. Or if she has access to his account, then I'm guessing she knows some shit for dms like we all say i mean look i've been guilty of calling her stupid too she ain't that stupid she's not dumb she does silly bullshit she's immature as hell but i do think that she knows better and she thinks she's outsmarting the rest of us i think that she comes out here and throws out these narratives and and is sending him a message of what he needs to tell the people Helping him come up with scenarios because this bullshit about the, I mean, she talks so in depth about things she claims she knows nothing about. It makes no damn sense. Let's listen. Come out from the um from the bogus ass landlord crap, all of that. All of Thank that. you, Daniel. Never lived there. Why would I move next door to this shit? That don't even make sense. Black people don't move next door to people we know. Unless it's elderly, you gotta run over and take care of them. other than that so she's saying that the apartments never mind fuck it this sounds stupid let me hear this one more time i'm sorry y'all but i could have sworn she talking about the fact that those those two apartments were next door to each other because she keep claiming he didn't live there it's people and that's just like a post sister you know what i'm saying something like that and there's kids involved you anywhere we're watching each other hold on is something that ain't right with okay. 
and there's something they claim we can talk to that in. He said it. He said it. So all the while they was out there digging up stuff and Nick G was fine, trying to find something. That's why it's important that everything come out from the um from the bogus ass landlord oh, crap, all of that. All of that. Paying attention. Never lived there. Jesus. Girl, oh wait a minute. Miss all kinds of shit. GC, every time she talks, this bird side hen, <laughs> non lawyer, is lying. Fact. Thank you for the super chat, boo. I'm sorry I missed it. I'm over here ranting. T Rain, if you don't go sit down some fucking where, I'm going to put you on the curb in a minute. Okay, damn it. This damn T Rain, she done messed around and gifted y'all again. Again. T Rain. I think it's a good, you know what? Okay, yeah, girl. You know what? I need to ask some of y'all that don't have pictures on your thing. I always assume it's the female. I shouldn't do that. Okay, anyway. Blue Um, who else? Ms. Rail 61. Ms. Rail 61. I hope I said that right. One, two, three. Okay, let me move down. <gasps> Look, totally Tony. T Tony, totally Tori. There you go. Tony Tori. She got gifted too. And so did LaShawn Williams. Damn it. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. T Ryan. Wait a minute. I'm just trying to make sure. Oh, Lord. I guess there's breaking news about Fonny. I don't want to hear no, no bad. Don't bring me no bad news. This is the fucking whiz. And I'm the, the big bad witch. Okay. Don't bring me no bad news. Damn it. I don't need that. Not today. Okay. It's my Friday. Damn it. All right. So let's get to thank you, t Ray. Thank you, GC. Y'all so sweet. Okay. Let's listen to this happen. Oh. Oh, no. That's the wrong one. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm going to move next door to this shit. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. oh, he turned over child, possession. All of that. He got to come to court. When he turned over possession, who did you get keys to? Who I'll did you have call, a I'll conversation? Just, I'll, I'll just cough and laugh and trying to, trying to That's get depressed. That's all. Right. That it, oh, it, no, no, no. Don't be depressed. Don't be depressed. Yeah. Don't be depressed. Okay then. Okay then. God's working. Uh, he's working. He's working. He's working. I just got to be patient. He working. He's working. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's I'm back. It. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me right now? Something's going on with the internet. Can y'all hear me? I might need to switch. GC, my God, today. Can y'all hear me? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Jesus. Honestly, you guys, I'm very humbled by this. I thank you so much. You have no idea. I really, really, really appreciate this. GC, thank you so much. Thank you all for growing this club, um, this community. I really, really appreciate it. You have no idea. I mean, I honestly, you know, I, I be, I'm over here acting silly, but the truth is I am humbled by it. I actually have chills right now. I want to thank you for um, uh, considering my content worthy enough to um, want to pay for a membership. So um, I feel very blessed when any of you gift memberships or buy your own membership or anything, even a $2 um, um, super sticker, the fact that you put anything on it. <laughs> It's 
<laughs> the blessing. So I, I am grateful to all of you. Let's see who got gifted this damn time. Okay. Jeez. You guys, it's Christmas up in this bitch. Okay. Mrs. Wonka. <laughs> 404. Uh -huh. Not 404. Are you Atlanta 404? Is that where that comes from? Karen Taylor. I see you, girl. I see you. Some things to say. You got it, boo. Continuously evolving. Hello. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Congratulations, everybody. And thank you so much, GC. I appreciate it. I really do. I'm silly, but I, I really do appreciate you guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I love you back. So anyway, y'all, I don't want to cry. <laughs> it's so goofy. All right, let's listen to this hope. Okay. I just keep on thinking of stuff. What happened? What's going on right now? Three hours. Three hours. That's a movie. That means people want to sit down and listen. I just listen. Mm -hmm. What should we be doing at one o'clock in the morning? A lot of people don't go out, but they just sit on it and watch that. Somebody else was live too. But yeah, they just sit and they just, the people that are invested, which is a lot, they just sit and they just listen and watch them. <laughs> Baby, most of us have lives. Most of us get out, we work jobs, we have families, we probably go to church. Some, you know, we have community projects, community organizations we're part of. We're doing other things. A lot of times this shit is in our ear while we're going around and taking care of our damn business. At least it is for me. I'm not going to talk for nobody else. Let me talk for myself. Okay. I work a job. I travel sometimes. People, My, my family comes to visit me. Um, I go out with my friends. I have an engagement tomorrow and one on Saturday. Um, I do other things. We just work it in. You know what I'm saying? We 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 have lives, Sonia. We are not completely invested like you. Like you don't put your money on it. You don't put your heart on it. You don't put your evidently your voice is on it because it's gone every time we hear it. Uh, you ain't even putting no food in your own belly because you're putting money on his damn books, I guess. Um, but baby, we do other things. We got a life out here, and we can. Still, man, do this because guess what? For many of us, this is a business. This is a job, and you put you put in time when you want something to be successful. So, yeah, you you made it news, baby. I do believe if Sonya was not in in this um situation, we would not be here talking about it as much as we do. This woman talks so much, she gives us content. And every time she thinks she she says she leaving the bitch popping pops right back up. Now she said she was gone, but she came in this chat. Then she she come over here yesterday. She said she gone, but she didn't listen to Dennis. Who knew she was paying attention to Dennis? Okay, so now she worried about what Dennis got to say. She watching Dennis. She watching everybody still, still. But she gone. She leaving him alone. No, she's not. This this happened right here. Hello. Trust me, they've been doing that for a minute. Cause near as you bet, on Friday night they was on somebody talking about us, and it was we uh, multitask something like that. Oh. A girl texted me today. She was like, "Man, they stay talking about you. They stay, they stay keeping your name in their mouth. They say Sonya more than anything now." I said, "Yes, yeah, crazy." Well, even in a negative light, that's fine. That's well, cool. Keep talking you about. Broke, you, hey, you broke that shit down so good. I can't do no more shit in my mouth. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. You broke that down. Keep talking. Right. Keep talking. That makes so much sense right now. Really? Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Okay. We're talking. Just keep Damn. talking. So what you got to do is, because I don't know the details, and this is what I really need from you, is is basically what went on with your first case as far as when you went to court and the plea. Let's be clear about something. This heifer don't need to know shit. She is not a lawyer. She is nothing but a nosy ass side chick. Literally, I'm not trying to be funny though. She's nosy as fuck. That's all. She, what help is that going? What, what is she doing? How is she a help to him on any level? Help me to understand how she a help. Cause I see her fucking up the case. 
she come out here to spread lies and saying shit and then he tries to shut shit down she keeps on talking and then i mean y'all should have heard her on sylvia's last night sylvia tried to get her to stop talking and she couldn't so sylvia had to mute her like the girl was just going out of her way she was really talking to herself some of the time it was very weird because they keep trying to throw that out there they keep trying to throw that out there your, what, like, like, hmm? what, what should say that again? Yeah, what should... Your first case that happened in the 90s yeah. that you went to jail for for 10 years? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I need you to tighten it a little bit of the circumstance I around that. Right. I remember you told me you didn't have nothing to do with that, but you took the police. Okay. Yeah, I did. How they, yeah, how they caught you up and all of that. Yeah, yeah. And it well, what, what? Right now, the people here, right now, it's, it's, man, that shit is like a. A program that they got this year, automatic motherfuckers. Well, you always an easy mark once you get that conviction. Yeah. That's the thing, and and that's why they, they that that's why you was a prime a, a good target because ooh he got a record, Bitch. you know, and a warrant. You had a warrant and a record, so you was a good target for them to fuck with. Yeah, but they needed that. something. They needed something that was career, you know, something that was a, for my career. So no. What they're trying to do is stop this motherfucker's career because he's a career criminal. And what they're trying to do is put a stop to his criminal. What did he say? He, they, they want him to stop criminalizing shit. OK, then it wasn't that what he said, criminalize. Well, I want him to stop criminalizing and shit. You hear me? So, uh, yeah, they weren't trying to do shit. They didn't pick out Nesto. So that they could do something to boost their careers. What they wanted to do was retire this nigga from his. Permanently. Give him three hots in the cot and send him on this motherfucking way. Okay, Lil. Let's just throw all of this on him. Fuck it, he got a record. We can, we can slam dunk and trash him. They just didn't realize, you know, because like I was saying, if, if any truth was this, you, your warrants would make sense if this was truth. Your warrants don't even make sense. That's what you know that it's no, lies. The warrants don't make sense. It's lies. So it don't even make sense. Everything that they put on these warrants don't even make sense at all. All the scenarios don't make sense. And I was like, the thing of it is, <laughs> you got to put everything into real life to Girl. say, how does this make sense? And then, too, what I think I'm about to end up probably talking about is why everybody's so quick to believe, you know, females. Especially when females are dating and having some type of personal dealings with people. This heifer has talked the entire time. Now, this is not a full 30 minute um, uh, call. It's only 23 minutes. We're 21 minutes in. Don't fret. We are almost done with this bitch. Okay. Hold on tight. We are almost at the finish line. But she has talked so damn much. He that got to get on his fucking nerves. And what what is she talking about? You definitely gotta question everything that come out their mouth because these girls get in their feelings and they wanna lie or tell half truth. You mean like you? Like you admitted to lying, like you said last night, and I've heard this isn't the first time you said it, but last night what you said was so what if I lied to them? I don't owe these people nothing. Well, oh, your, don't you owe yourself some integrity? I mean, fuck everybody else. My integrity is mine. So I don't give a... We're almost done. Or get back at him. And they don't, you know, they don't mind putting a person in jail because they're mad at him. And that's the sad part about it, that these black women and white women do that. You know, so I'm putting she man in jail. women. She really does. I heard... People say this before, but she hates women. She does not trust women. She don't like women. She hates women, y'all. She black, white, orange, it don't matter. She hates women. It is so clear to me. Would you say, Danielle? Uh, Sonia also has time to call his family and friends. She also calls and writes to his attorneys. That shit is crazy. Great, great. That's crazy. Um, the only whip says she's not into Ernesto. She's into the internet. She she um see she wants 
a podcast now. She wants to be like you. And that's sick. And that should be the heaviest charge out here because they need to prevent that and stop innocent men going to jail on these females that get caught up in their feelings or don't give a shit. And just like I got one for them. You know, when they do what they say, you touch the kid, you know, saying that he cute me or he slapped me, he beat me. They be doing all kinds of stuff and I can't. I, I, I met one the other day. Uh, yeah. Don't you don't want to be with me no more? Oh, okay, I got one for you. You know what I'm saying? Thing. Yeah. They'll say, touch the kid, you know, and then same the kid will be too thing. young so they can get away, get away with it. They're going to automatically do a believe instead of no. I do that shit. You know, you lie to touch me and you lie to touch that white, the girl who trying to come with the claim. So damn much. <laughs> because that's crazy, especially if you live on it and get you. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me let me go back for a second. Hold on. Uh, first of all, Dr. Lashonia, you are absolutely right. This is the true definition of male identified, okay? Because she literally hates freaking women. But wait a minute. How do you, you continuously evolving said maybe she's a closet lesbian? But would she hate men? She hates women. You can't. You you think she hates women, but she want to sleep with them too? I don't know. She mad. I don't know. People are crazy these days. I don't know what to think. <laughs> ooh, child, we got a minute to go. Not ooh, not even a whole minute. Jesus. So DNA. All you got to do is get a pair of your dirty underwear and rub it. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Rub it on. You have Thank one God. minute remaining. It's crazy. Okay. What? Hold on. Get away with it. They don't automatically do a believe instead of no. I do that shit. You know? You need a lot of touch me. You need a lot of touch that white. The girl who trying to come with the claim. <laughs> because that's crazy, especially if you live on it and get your DNA. All you got to do is get a pair of your dirty underwear and rub it on, you know what I'm saying, rub it on. You have one minute remaining. It's crazy. Okay. All right, well, I'll check on you later. You sound okay. Like, sound like you're doing better than me. <laughs> you're talking to me. You Call me tonight. I'll be home. I'm not going over. Yeah, of course okay. not. You've been in that fucking bed. <laughs> Thank you for using global. Y'all, please go with the phone calls from prison. You know, phone calls from prison. She must be the most patient soul on the planet. She and her husband. I think they are godsend. Um, I'm very glad that they have the job of listening to these damn calls and not me. Like, I'm glad that she sifts through and figures out which ones make sense for us to talk about and look at because God knows I can barely get through the ones we need to listen to, let alone the ones. Anyway, the bottom line is this, Sonya, something's wrong with you. Uh, last night, the way she was, just like how she just rants and just goes on and on and on, it does feel like Sonia, I am not accusing you of anything. I'm going to give my perception, my perspective, uh, my vantage point, and what I have surmised. Allegedly, you be sounding like you're on drugs. Girl, you be sounding like you're on drugs when you're awake, and you sound like you're on drugs when you're sleepy. You just be sounding sleepy and 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 something because i'm telling you when you go get into these rants like you just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, and talk. i'm still laughing about the other day the one we listened to and who was that in the i don't know who it was in the chat said damn i forgot nesta was even on the phone april uh not april i'm sorry Ms. Rail, is it is it Ms. Rail 61 something something i don't know i mean i don't know if she takes something in the morning and something in the evening what's that song da, da, the morning freak in the evening all night long i think that's what it is it's drugs drugs in the morning drugs in the evening 
long, not long. I don't know. Uh, yeah. What key sweat say? <laughs> something, 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 something just ain't right. Just ain't right. <laughs> For sure, something ain't right. Not perk 30. You know what? I cannot. Something. I don't know, yo. But something ain't right. Something ain't right. She, she, she sound like she drunk sleepy sometime. And then she sound like she on speed other times. Like, girl, what's going on? She went in. The t Somebody was telling her on the panel last night. Okay, I'm done with this video. Fuck this video. Okay. It's, it was just ridiculous. Okay. She did all this talking, all this throwing out. I'm done with it. Okay. Let's talk about Sylvia. Let's talk about Sylvia has Sonia on her, her channel last night. If you didn't see it, hey, knock yourself out. Go watch it. Give her a click and a view. I love it. Um, I did. And Sonia was annoying as hell. I'm not trying to be funny. She ended that video just like she ended, ended that interview just like she ended mine. She's going to say that's not an interview. It wasn't, but it was a conversation. Supposedly, Sylvia was addressing her because of what she claimed Sylvia had done in this video. Sylvia, we know you gave her pictures. We know that you two have talked a lot. You've given her a lot of information about that victim. There's no way around it, boo. You did it. It is what it is. We know, we, we saw it, you did it, okay? Like, let's not play these games. You did it, girl. Now, why? Now, y'all did a nice little show last night. You thought you was fooling somebody. But um, the truth is, you weren't fooling anybody because we knew that y'all talked before that live. We knew we, that some of this was lightweight rehearsed. You at least knew what direction you were going to go with it. And then um, you proceeded to allow this girl to switch up the narrative. Now, she had thrown you under the bus, not once, not twice, but at a minimum three times on three different videos telling this man that you constantly are informing him of the investigations that you are doing with the victims uh, and people associated with him. And then Sonia, let's get something straight. You keep saying, well, the block. Now, look, I'm not a part of the crew that she's talking about. She may kind of think I am, but I am I mean, look, I, I came in to the picture really once I interviewed her. But she's making reference to things that were happening before my interview with her and suggesting that because Bougie and Nyla and Sylvia were all on Tasha K and that there were some other bloggers that everybody liked Sylvia until she started speaking out in um, support of Ernesto. Well, let's be clear. It's not just because someone decides to, to support them. And I'm not trying to speak for anybody, but this is how I see it. This is how I see it. This woman clearly had a problem and saw things just like everybody else. She was disgusted by the things that she read that this man was accused of. Sylvia has not found any freaking evidence anywhere from anybody that says this man is innocent. Now, this thing, Sonya is over here talking about she was going to leave him, but she's not going to leave him high and dry um, she hasn't seen him since January. That's what she said. She ain't been to see him since January. And she said she talked to him uh, two days ago. She talked to him more than that. She Or yesterday or some shit. I don't know. But she made it sound like she didn't talk to him. But I think she was talking to him. And I think he called last night. It, I, or whenever they were on that line. I think I think she did. Um. Uh-oh. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, let me make sure. Need to check something real quick. Yep. Um, okay, I don't know what that was then. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me find you again. Okay. All right. All right. 
So anywho, back to what I was saying. These bitches are crazy. Okay. Now, Sonia, you want to make it out like these women, the bloggers be included at this point. You think that we hate Sylvia. I don't hate Sylvia. Like I said, I, I don't even, I, I can't hate her. I don't hate her. But I do question her motives. Her motives shift. She found the way. It, I don't know. There's something in Sylvia that needs to connect with people that are defendants of nasty sex crimes. That's what it feels like. It feels like that's who she connects with. Um, if you are accused of a nasty sex crime, here comes Sylvia. She's there. She's your girl. Okay. Um, and you, she's going to find a way to make you innocent. Okay. Uh, I can't do it. And I think that that's the problem with the other blockers. They don't like that switch up. And let's be clear. We just heard Sylvia throwing bloggers under the fucking bus. Sylvia talks too much too. Sylvia talks her way into a lot of situations and she hasn't learned her lesson. So this ain't about nobody picking on Sylvia. We think that what she's doing is disgusting. Okay, not we. I think that the shit she's doing is disgusting by supporting this man and and, and running up behind you and feeling like y'all are, are stars or something because when she showed that picture that she took with Sonya, she made it sound like, I don't give y'all content for the week, bitch. We don't give a damn. You met, you met her? Okay. What's that mean? It means nothing to me. What but you're you're you like it. You think that getting close to her gets you closer to him, getting close to him gets you closer to Shirley Strawberry, which gets you closer to Steve Harvey. Girl, you are down that's cloud chasing for real. That's cloud chasing in a bad way. Cause I don't you know, I usually think our people who are opportunists or you know, even if you're chasing cloud, yeah, 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 I ain't got no problem with it. It makes sense to me. But this here over here, this is more like you're fanning out. You fan out with R. Kelly. You fan out with Ernesto. I don't even fucking know how. I bet you, though, I bet you, Ernesto, if he was out of prison, uh, of jail, okay, if he was out and he was free and they just happened to meet Sylvia outside of this situation, I think he'd have her on the damn uh, 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 RV turning tricks. I, he would have her. He he could get her to do anything. I, I believe he would recruit her for something. Now, maybe she wouldn't be servicing folks like that, but maybe she would be recruited. I don't know, but I think that he could woo her ass and tell her to strip, and she would. That's what I believe. Now, that's my opinion, and I, I have a right to have one. And I don't give a damn how you feel Okay, that's just my opinion. All right, her daughter, don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. Right, V? But at her big old age, it's disturbing. It is. I'm still flabbergasted she took her daughter to see R. Kelly. I'm still, I still, that's that's one I still can't get with. I still can't wrap my mind around that. Shut up, her daughter. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Ain't he talking to you, her daughter? I'm talking to the chat. I, I just understand. What you say, Danielle? I never liked Sylvia. She can't she can't curse, but she can defend R. Kelly. Next, she will be praying for Diddy. You ain't never lied. Diddy is innocent too. Because Sonya loves D Diddy. You heard her. She mentioned Diddy in this damn video. She can't even be in the video without talking about Diddy. So she probably about to campaign for Diddy's ass too. Her daughter, shut the fuck up, okay? I'm tired of you, damn it. <laughs> shut the entire fuck up, are you here? And I heard the other day when I was saying that about cussing and stuff, they said that a girl cusses her ass off. They said that uh, Sylvia can cuss like a sailor, y'all. Maybe these people just want to get done dirty. Maybe that's it. Maybe they just like, they just, they just freakazoids, robots. Please report to the dance floor, I guess. Jesus. Take that, take that, take that. Not take that, take that. But anyway, so 
who sat and listened to her on that on on Sylvia's panel last night, just going on and on and on to the point that Sylvia didn't say nothing. She just said, because you can't. The girl just goes around in circles and claiming that the bloggers are beating up on Sylvia and picking on her and they used to like her. No, they tolerated her. Now, this is my opinion. They didn't say this. I'm going to say this. If you've been out here on these YouTube streets, you know a little something about Sylvia. You may not know everything about her content. You may have not even really gone over there and spent a lot of time. You may not have even watched her content. But people know that Sylvia's content is wrapped around R. Kelly and now around Ernesto and around YSL. Again, she always sides with the defendants. It appears, well, with the exception of the Cardi B situation. With the car now, if if uh Tasha K had been up against anybody else but Cardi B, someone who wasn't a big star like that, she would be all in 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 in, in Tasha K shit. She would be running up behind her. But but uh, but unfortunately for Tasha K, she was dealing with Cardi B, a big humongous star. And, and every day that she sat in that courtroom, she was zoomed in on Cardi B. She couldn't wait for that shit to end. And that's why she got kicked out of the courtroom when they announced the verdict because she screamed. She cheered rather. Your media, why are you cheering? This is crazy. Okay. So she got kicked out. All right. But she was so excited. It didn't make a difference because she, she was lined up to at least take a picture and talk to Cardi B for a minute after the thing. Okay. Good for her. But besides that situation, she always sides with the defendant. It doesn't matter what the crime is. They never did it. It doesn't matter what the crime is, how many charges they have against them, what their past is. It means nothing if they have some connection to celebrity. She's going to ride with the defendant. If it's a celebrity with a sex crime, she's all in. That's what I think. No, now Sylvia, I'm not trying to come for you, but y'all sound crazy over there. And I just think the shit is sick. I'm I'm just I'm just gonna be honest with you. The shit is sick to me. I don't like it. I don't like it. Her daughter, I don't like it. Chick-fil-A girl, what you had said? Sylvia and Sonia be huffing on that spray. Not spray paint. They huffing. That's why. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Okay, wait. What's this say? Danielle McGee said, I think Nessa would say mean things about Sylvia. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. He talk about overweight women all the time. Oh, does he? He would talk about her. He'd talk about probably her hair. He would talk about, if he learned, look, the fact that this woman says she goes to pray for for him and with him, that she's ministering, right, to him. Yet you talk, sex talk to people on the phone, though. Like, it's very, very conflicting. It just confuses me. You're a whole married woman. You're crushing over other men. You're showing your body parts and talking sex talk on the phone. And then somebody wants you to pray for him? Hell no, that shit is disgusting. It's weird. It's weird. Something's wrong with you. You tell a side chick that God sent her to a married man. Bullshit. What Bible are you praying from? You. It's weird, yo. On replay, the fact that she was talking about in court with Erica, Erica was acting as his lawyer on a case. It's, what? Th that's the part I can't get past. Erica was acting as his lawyer on a case where Shirley was supposed to be there about that house in her name. It's a mess. Yeah. Yeah, she's showing body parts and shit. And then talking and sex talk, and she got a whole husband. Who want her praying for you? You want her to pray for you? Because she ain't praying for no good sense yet. See, until she pray for herself, for her eyes to be open and her mind to be renewed and her heart to be whole, don't pray for me. Don't pray. Don't pray for me. Don't do it. Mm -mm. No, thank you. 
I'll, I'll pass. I got it. I got it. Um, what you say? Some things to say. Sonya appears to be the type that would believe the suspect and question her child if the alleged abuse. Yes. Yes. I believe that too. If it's a big star. Mm -hmm. Would you say I left a message and said they have chaplains in a jail? That they do. Of course they have chaplains in the jail. That's what I'm saying. He don't need her and she doesn't have to drive there. I heard this an hour from where she is. I don't know where she is. But she doesn't have to drive there to pray for him. Why can't she pray on the phone? Tawana, thank you. Thank you, Tawana. I just saw my cash app. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, boo. But anywho, wait. Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yes, thank you, Tawana. How sweet. CCB, damn it. What you have said? CCP, thank you for the um for the super chat. You said Sylvie is too damn old to need this much validation, and Sonya is too damn old to be this much of a liar. And then proud of it. And then proud of it. It's very weird. Would you say um menu mindset? Sanctify Sylvia is a phony prey warrior, more like Pray, warrior. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Thank you, CCB, again. Thank you so much for the super chat. And thank you, Tawana, for the cash app. Thank you. Um, Ciao. Hi, April. So that's it, y'all. I ain't got shit else to say because that, that was just some bullshit. I thought about playing her. I don't feel like if I have to fight with Sylvia, I don't feel like it. I ain't got time to be... Um, dispute and shit. I just don't feel like it. But I, I would have loved to have given a reaction to that um to that talk last night. I am encouraging you guys if you want to go and 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 check out the video because but it's gonna get on your nerves. You might have to listen to it at different times. Like I started it last night and I had to stop it and come back because the girl was just ranting and raving. It was too much. It was just too much. Would you say um, some things to say? You had said, Sonya Brown here dressing like Thelma from Good Times, thinking she can keep up with show. Speaking of which, I'm glad you mentioned that. She had on, oh, I know Nyla is going to go in. Nyla is going to go in on her. As soon as I saw her last night, I knew immediately. You hear me? Immediately, I knew. Nyla is going to go in on that child. The girl had on, quote, unquote, this is Nyla's quote, an aluminum foil skirt. Now, she hasn't said that yet, but I'm, I got five on it. I promise you, when she goes live <laughs> and she talks about that live, she will say that that girl has on an aluminum foil skirt. She is going to say it. I know it. And I saw it. When I saw it, I heard her voice in my ears. How much y'all want to bet? Put a one in the chat. If you think Nyla is going to call that skirt an aluminum foil skirt, you tell me right now what you think. Hell. Shit. What you think? What you think? I don't know what you think, but I'm telling you right now. That's what's going. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay. Okay, Sassy. Okay, her daughter. Okay, Ann Harmon. Okay, Love Joy. Okay. <laughs> yes. Nothing but aluminum foil. That's all we're going to hear about. I don't know why that girl put that skirt on. She know Nyla going to say something. So I think she, I think she be toying with us. I'm leaving, but I'm back. Listen, but I heard what you said. I'm watching, but I'm in your chat. I don't listen, I don't watch. But I'm in your comment section as a fucking troll. Yeah, I ain't got no time for it. What you say? She literally throwing the content. At, literally. Like, I promise you. She keeps saying she gonna, if, if she ends it, 
then we can stop. Well, you ain't ended nothing. You can't stand it. We told you it ends when we say so, not when you say so. If we want to continue on with this bullshit for the next year or so as he prepares for a trial and through the trial, trust me, we going to do it because we still got calls to listen to. You said yourself out your mouth yesterday. I think you said you talked to that man 12 times one day and old girl just took uh, one call. Well, that's your business. Now we got plenty of content. You are telling me that we have tons and tons of content. If God forbid something were to happen to you and you could no longer speak or write again or type, if something happened to your fingers and your throat today, and you never spoke or typed another damn word in your life. You can best believe we're still going to talk about your ass. We're going to still have content. And if you're telling me you've talked to this nigga that much every day, we got content for the next year or two. If we want it. It stops when we say so. Not when you say so. That's right, her daughter. We will still be talking, bitch. We're going to talk. All right? So whether you like it or not, it's going down. It's going down. All right. Well, I ain't got shit else to say. I done bullshitted out here as long as I guess I can. But I sure do uh, enjoy y'all. Had a good time. I wish we could have reviewed Sylvia's video. But again, I think she would try to strike me. And then that would just be, you know, I don't feel like it. I just don't feel like it. I probably, you know, I'm sure I could dispute it and all. But who wants to? I don't want to go. And I think there's a part of me that doesn't want to hear Sonya anymore today. I think I've heard enough. Okay. So with that said, if you guys don't mind, just for the hell of it, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to play my little commercial. Okay. If you feel like um, donating towards the channel, as a matter of fact, you know, I'm looking at, um, let me say this before I even do this. And I'm, and this is a dry bag. This is a wet bag. Okay. This is, <laughs> this is the outright bag. Okay. So I was looking last, first of all, my internet is very trippy. It's the building I'm in, very hard to explain, but the building causes a lot of interference. So I need to probably get a like a MiFi or something separate. So when I do go live, that I do that. I was looking at myself too last night um, with the two ladies and I'm like, I need a, I need a better camera. I got to figure this out. So any donations you, you provide to the channel, trust me, it's going to go to the channel because I got shit to buy, okay? Uh, young Thug's Daddy. Hey, Young Thug's Daddy, do you want to buy some more equipment? Because I'll accept. Just saying. With that said, let me um, play my little commercial. If you feel like you want to give, you can always give a super chat, super sticker, um, join the membership, or you can give a cash app or PayPal right here. Um, so I look a little blurry. Yeah, I was looking blurry last night. And that has a lot to do with the, the Wi-Fi. The camera, I need to, I just need to get equipment. Y'all, I literally, talk about bootleg. I'm literally just using my computer, period. Now I have this mic here that I have. And like I could have pop, probably used it for today. Actually, let me hook it up. Y'all tell me if I sound any different with this damn mic. The problem is, if I'm listening to, um, like, I'm sorry, I hear them. See the internet? See, that's the internet. Can y'all hear me? Testing, testing. Can y'all hear me? Put a one in the chat if you can hear me. Put a one in the chat, please, if you may hear me. So I'm very, very um, bootleg over here. I'm just telling you. One. Oh, thank you, April. 
Um, you can hear me. Okay. So is it clear? Okay. Put a three in the chat. If it's clearer with the microphone than it is with the computer, put a three. If it's clearer, if it's not clear, put a two. So if it's clear three, cause that's my lucky number. And if it's not put the two, okay. It's better. It's better. Okay. So I'll start. So I got to figure out this input output situation. But I also need to get, I got to do some things. I got to get a camera and some lighting and a MiFi. I think a separate like little MiFi just for streaming because it's bad. This building is bad. So anyway, uh-uh, not -uh. -uh, not clear as Liquid V. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what does Liquid V even look like, y'all? Is it clear like water? Lexi? What does liquid V look like? Do you know? Oh, Lexi. Tell me. So anyway, okay, good. So I will start using the microphone then. Well, okay, let's let's see something real quick. Let's see some. This is testing now. Thank y'all for being here to test with me. Yet yeah, some folks don't live. I, I, I don't blame them because I ain't got shit else in. I want to see if it works. Why is that? Where is this? Okay. Let's see if this works. Thank you for watching. Please like. I don't know what she said, just go ahead and watch the whole thing. I can in the last hour and a half of it because she's going to chat if you can hear yeah, playing because oh, I cannot. So see, that's the problem. That's they why are. I don't use yeah, the mic 3, views, because if I'm doing a reaction video, don't I can't play. hear anything. Don't play. And then this the judge Manny watched his her shut watch his hand. Fix this before you what? Yeah, totally forgot. Judge Manning. Can you hear the music? Well, yeah. Y'all yeah. can hear the music. I mean, hear the music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I was like, See, I can't hear him. Thank you, thank you. Because his damn mic is in here. I gotta figure this out. About change no, this down there. Also, look. Because it came in with a whole point and finger. So, yeah, mic yeah, help no. not hook that up. Just because people get a cue, I mean, it's just. I gotta cute. get my equipment. I gotta watch the first so, anything that you make, it's you know, gotta go to the channel. The, um, channel. Because I got the more things. I need to get some more um, mm -hmm. little, little yeah, little clips and figure out how to do that oh, myself and all that good stuff. Everybody can go on different angles of anyway, my story. So every and this oh, is what she does, and she's a commentator for the courthouse. I can't so and even so I can't. I have it on the hot. That was the one that was so in the courtroom. Let me just say this: the building I live in. What? Remember, you said that blogger was older, older was somebody building. standing in the courtroom. At yeah, one time, yeah. it was like was. you know, know it's condos. Was. I, I didn't know okay. Yeah, that's what that was. The one um, that the TV and that's the only blogger that be in the courtroom doing and digging up and doing real investigative type of. You oh my know, God, what's going on? Really so funny because we didn't mm -hmm. live too far away. Mm -hmm. That time mm -hmm. was like a really yep. upscale. Oh, she was shining the light on all of that. Man said that. building, right? But it was built in like, the, like, like, wow, like the late 50s, the early 60s. I know that. The configuration of the building. I was like, I didn't know that. Yeah, she went in. She found she really good Wi Fi. She found some stuff out. Crazy. Crazy. Wow. It took a month yep. and three different cable companies to come out here before I could really get there, all set. Uh, damn, oh, y'all. My bad. Y'all couldn't hear me talking? Could y'all hear me talking? I was talking over there. See, I couldn't hear them talking, so I didn't even know it was. I forgot it was playing, child. We can't hear. Child, can you hear me now? I'll be damned. I done said a whole lot of shit. I was telling y'all a whole freaking story. Anyway, bottom line is this. I'm not repeating it. Okay. The bottom line is um, this building is a problem for internet. 
and I just probably need to just run my streams from a separate. And maybe, maybe next time I might even try my phone hotspot and see how that goes. I was muted. See, that's what I'm saying. I got to figure this mic out. What's the point of having a mic if I can't hear shit when it's in? Hey, Don Simber. How are you? <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. What you say, um, James McCray? James says you need a headset with your computer that you can hear the volume unless you have a mixer. You can put a headset inside there. They have those little earpieces that anchor persons use our pro oh wow. Okay. Yeah, tell me, give me if you if you um find it, tell me um how to where I need to get what I need to get and how, child. Miss Buckeye 99, thank you so much for the super sticker. What a blessing. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You guys have really blessed me. I am very, very grateful. I am so excited about our new community and how you guys have really blessed me um, over the last couple of months in particular. I'm very glad to be doing this content and sharing it with all of you. And let me say something. I understand that I'm on one side of this thing and, and Sonia and Ernesto and even Sylvia are on a different side. And I understand how, you know, Sonia's always saying they're so negative. They're so messy. They're so this, that, and the other. I honest to God don't see it that way because I don't think we're talking about an innocent man. I think we're literally talking about the heinous things he's been accused of. And concerned about anybody who might support a man through this and or have an affair with a man knowing all of this. Like all of that shit is fascinating. Now, I understand on their side, it looks negative. It feels like everybody's coming after them. We're really not coming after them. We're literally just talking about them. But when I tell you that this community of people that I have been introduced to by way of this storyline, I am grateful for. I do not see you all as negative. I don't know. It's it's very refreshing. I don't feel like the majority of people here are trying to fight or trying to create an issue. I feel like you all are just enjoying the content and supporting the content creators that you that you enjoy, and um, I th I love it. And I think we're all pretty like-minded about this bullshit. So anyway, hold on one second. Hold on one second. There's a content creator call. Okay, y'all, that's my that's my clue. I got to call somebody back. But thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for all of the super chats and super stickers and memberships and shit. You guys are something else, all right? Now, we will have another members only. We probably have one this weekend. But I'm definitely going to make sure that Mondays are definitely set aside for, for members. We'll do our own little content. I really want your feedback on what type of content you want me to bring to the members. I have things outlined that I did two years ago when I was half-assed doing anything with the channel. So now I really want to provide the community with what they want. So the very next members meeting we have, or members only uh, live, we will be discussing things, okay? We are going to, to lay out some things. But anyway, I am so grateful for you all. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you to my beautiful moderators. Thank you for any content creators that were listening in the clouds or, or whatever. And um, thank you all for giving me a click and a view. And again, if you guys have some show ideas, I'm not playing with this. I want us to come out here with some, some conversations that you want to hear. And by the way, go check out my video from last night. Give me a click and a view. Plus, I think you might enjoy it. Okay, but if you have show ideas, you can check me out here.
some things to say. I'm going to time you out for that bullshit. <laughs> Talking about go ahead and take that call from Nesto and call us back. Child, bye. I wish I would. A mess. All right. Thank you to my beautiful moderators. Let's see. We said Kimberly Black and her daughter and Shell Loves and Know Your Own Work were all in the chat. Thank you to all my moderators that were here and weren't here. Thank you to all of you. Love you to death. I'm sure we'll see each other again today. Who knows? I might even come back live again. Y'all y'all done fired me up. Plus, it's my Friday. Uh, with that said, y'all have a good one now. Mooches. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't.